The uh, near side will be McAfee, and on the uh, far side, we've got Randy Simmons. And the ball falls off the tee. TCU in the month of November over their last 20 ball games. They've won one and lost 19 in the month of November in the last 20 November games. One and 19. Talked about something else. They've got, of course, that losing streak going that the Ags hope to increase by one more after this one's over with. TCU playing its last game. The Aggies with Texas next week. And this one's underway. Here's the kick in the under in. And that's going to send uh, Simmons back about a step off the uh, end line in the end zone. He'll down it there and they'll bring it out to the 20. Boy, we have had a lot of football here in Bryan College Station. <laughs> Ags will come out with a slot on the right. And that will be the tight end aware in that slot. Right out here is Gary Oliver. They're going to pitch to uh, Lewis coming to the right side at the 20. He goes out of bounds at the 23-yard line, heading south here with an eye of formation. Long count. They'll hand off to Robert. Big hole right side, 30-35, out to the 38-yard line. Oh, a big hole on the right side for Robert Wilson. Just shy of the AM 39-yard line, hash mark right side. And they go with a flanker right. That's Garrett. Now he's back in motion toward the split inside of the formation. From an eye, pitch it to Lewis. Going left, looking for a block, trying to get the corner. Can't do it. Second down, lose three on the last play. Move it back to the 36. They need the 49. They're their own 49 for a first down. Play action, fake to the left. Now roll right to the right, roll back to the left. Richardson at the 35, he's going to run out of bounds. At the 35, then up to the 39. Carter stays in the backfield with a split back formation, a slot left, and a split in here on the right side. No tight end, straight drop. Richardson throwing the football. It's caught at the 49-yard line and immediately out of bounds. Second like first down here in the series. They got two more than they needed. I formation, slot to the left. They will uh, try the option going back the other way, and Darren will be caught in the backfield. He's going to be caught back at the 47-yard line for a loss of four on the play. I had a slot to the right. Garrett's in the slot. Oliver is the split in. Snap the ball. Hand it off. Lewis, he's at midfield. He has about, uh, oh, five here. Now nine as he gets to the 45-yard line after a couple of losses. Here's third down. Scoreboard says six. Just underway. No score. We're playing in the first quarter. Ball at the TCU 45 from an eye formation. Wilson is the fullback. Lewis is the tailback. Long count. Now Bucky is going to roll to his right. And will run with the ball at the 45-40. Tackled and brought down at the 35-yard line. Gary Oliver is split way out to the left side. Line of scrimmage to 35. Garrett's going in motion toward the open side of the field. Snap the ball. Play action. Bucky is going to keep it around the corner here on the right side. We'll get five and bring him down at the 29-yard line. Total receptions. Gary Oliver starts play today with 24 leading the team in total receptions. Garrett has 22. Ware has 10. They're only receivers in double figures. And the ball off to Wilson. Hits the middle and uh, gets rolled out of the 27-yard line on a second down and five. That will leave the Ag short here about three yards. Here's a third down play with motion with the tight end wear going set from right then to left. Pitch it. They're coming to Lewis trying to get back to the left side. A flag is down. He's hit right at the 25-yard line. He will be shy apparently of a first down. Let's see the meaning of the flag. Yet. Ah, there they go. We'll uh, assess the penalty then, move it back five yards. Here's the third down play. Roll to the left, trying to throw the football. Looking downfield, going for the two, and it's caught by Gary Oliver at the one-yard line and brought down immediately. Geo at the one. Check here, his longest reception has been 43. In motion, uh, back to the left, handed off to Darren. He dives, he's in for the touchdown over the left side. And it took uh, five minutes and 14 seconds to drive it in for the first points of the day. And the Aggies now, before the point after, have a 6-0 lead. And that was an 80-yard drive. And the big play, of course, the 31-yard pass to Gary Oliver. Well, it's a, a very impressive drive. The Aggies eat up more than five minutes off the clock. They get the seven or the six points with the sevens to come. They are three for three on third down conversions with Bucky throwing three completions. Just an excellent drive for the Aggies to start the game. Here's the point after by uh, Lane Talbot. That had a little hook back to the left on it, but it's through the uprights and on the board. And we have a 7 0 AM lead over the Frogs. You're listening to Texas Aggie Football. <laughs> and
And Terry Venatulius, Mr. Venatulius, has it teed up at the 35. And it's in under in. A little short here. It'll be taken at the 15 on the return back to the 20. To the 25 and drop down there at about the 28, 27 yard line. It's first down and 10 TCU hash mark right side. Vogler, their quarterback, will look at his stats here when we have an opportunity. Motkins on a delay out of the backfield being chased. Gets away from one man. Oh, he's caught and dropped back at the 23 by John Miller. An eye formation. Now oh, they break the it. That's uh, Cedric Jackson in motion. Vogler now looking back to his left. Will throw the football. It's knocked away. And now it's uh, intercepted at the 34. Back to the 25, 20, 15, 10. And it is a touchdown. Larry Horton a deflection in the Aggies lead. 13 to nothing. 33 yards on the interception and the deflection. Oh, that stops that string then. We talked about that earlier in the ball game, that the team had gone two games in a row without getting a turnover from their opponents, and they make one happen there. The intended receiver was well covered by the Aggie secondary. The ball was knocked up into the air, and it's an interception and a touchdown return. That is the second interception we've had this season for a, for a TD. And that will be a touchdown Check it here in a moment. Here is the point after. A touchdown for Horton. We'll check him. I believe he scored before on an interception. We'll check no, him. He scored on a, on a kickoff, on a kickoff return, return last year against last LSU. Year. All right, it is 14 to nothing. Vogler going to the air for the first time today. And it is batted up in the air. And I that was Kerry Vincent. Vincent. Kerry Vincent batted the ball up in the air, and then Horton ran under it and returned it for 33 yards and the touchdown. And it's 14-0, the Ags over TCU. We'll be back in a minute. This is the Texas Aggie Network. And now on the uh, short kick, there is a return on the far side. They'll get it back to the TCU 37-yard line. That was a high end under end kick that one of the upbacks ran under and got that one back out. They'll spot him at the 36 on that return. Out in an eye formation. And again, as Dave told you a moment ago, not seen much of that eye this year from TCU. And they'll hand it off to Motkins. He starts back to his right and comes left and, oh, gets maybe three yards. See it. Second down and more like eight. Straight drop back by Vogler, looking off to the right side. That one's deflected off the hands of the intended receiver, and that will be Michael Jackson. Here's third down and about a single setback. Play action, Vogler in the pocket. Now he's going uh, back to his right. He's being chased from behind. He's going to try to run for a first down. He is hit from behind and went out of bounds, close to the spot needed. Tight end on the left, flanker to the left. They have a uh, slot formation on the right. That's the short side of the field. Vogler from the pocket, trying to throw a screen to the right side. It's complete. It's across the 50. It's down to the 48-yard line. In the first quarter is TCU's worst quarter as far as scoring is concerned. They've scored only 47 points this season. Here's a delay, and it goes to Motkins. He is across the 45, and he is down to the 40. He has a TCU first down. First down and 10 at the Aggie 40. Play action. Vogler now will throw the football, and that goes incomplete. The intended receiver was uh, Thompson. Wheeler's in the ball game. Mark Wheeler has checked in. And Lance Tackleman's in right now at the uh, nose guard position. There's a couple of changes made defensively. Here's Vogler from the pocket, throwing back to his right, has a receiver there, and he's going to be hit and pushed out of bounds. That is Cedric Jackson making the reception. Here's TCU going to a different game plan today. Generally, they've uh, about one-third of the time, they've gone what, what the Aggies call empty, which means they have no backs. They've had a back on every uh, offensive snap today. It's a little bit different game plan than what we expected. Watkins a single setback, and the Aggies just jumped off sides, and they made contact. Now we've got a couple of folks and uh, one of the offensive linemen and Lance Tackleman hitting each other off their shoulder pads. Five-yard penalty. First down, TCU. Vogler screen back to the right side. Motkins salutes a couple of people, but he won't get by. Now he breaks the tackle at the 30, and he gets down to the 25-yard line. Well, he broke. Motkins has over 800 yards rushing this season. Here's play action again. Vogler from behind. Some pressure will complete the pass down to the 15-yard line. Here's first down and 10. They break the huddle, and they'll come out in that eye formation. So not really going to what they call their triple shoot today. Running more from an eye. They'll pitch it to Motkins going right. Short side of the field. He's at the 10. He is down close to the five-yard line where Horton and Frazier bump him out at the five. First and goal from the five. Both man towels being waved here at Kyle. 
Vogler, hash mark right, single setback. Vogler looking toward the end zone. Lofts one in the air, and that's over everybody's head. He's trying to hit Shipley, and he threw that over Shipley's head. That went out of the back of the end zone. Uh, second and goal from the five-yard line. Vogler now has completed four out of eight with one interception. High formation from the five. Pitch it to Motkins. Going right. Cuts it back to his left. He's in for a touchdown from the five. Motkins. Motkins scores his third touchdown of the season. That comes with 5.44 to go here in the first quarter of play. And that makes it a 14 to 7. Well, let's go give them the extra point before they kick it. 14 to 6 right now. Here in the first quarter, we've got, at this point, 20 points having been put up on the scoreboard. Now we may get a timeout. No, it's going to be an official's timeout. Yeah, Modkins uh, apparently going oh, yeah. into the end zone got hit. He's still down on one knee in the right corner of the end zone. He's up now, and they'll escort him off the field. Watkins, uh, eight receptions, 25 yards for the season. He has run the ball coming into today's game 188 times for 833 yards. That's Curtis Watkins, who just scored his third touchdown of the season. Here is Jeff Wilkinson. Yes, 34 point afters for the season. The uh, kick is up, and uh, that one's through the uprights, and it's on the board. That makes it 14 to 7. The Aggies have the lead over TCU. And we have 5.44 to go in the first quarter of play. We'll tell you now that you're listening to Texas Aggie football. Carter and Simmons are back deep this time, both standing at the five. Wilkinson with the kick will be taken uh, right at the goal line. Now he drops it. That is Simmons, who started not to come out. Now he will try to come out. He's going to get it out to about the 12-yard line. Sim well, their rushing game uh, is impressive so far today. Of course, the Aggies are geared up to stop a, a passing offense and uh, have taken out some of their big people up front. They may have to rethink that defensive strategy. They put eight people right up on the line of scrimmage. And they'll hand it off to Darren, and he's coming to the right side. They keep it inside the hash marks. And Here's second down. Ash right. High formation, long count. Bucky running the option. No, he hands it off to the Bull, and the Bull has just fumbled the ball, but I believe that Jason Rockhold has fallen on the fumble. Now here they come. Third down from the 17-yard line. They need their 22 for a first down. Richardson starts left, wanted to throw. Now he's under a lot of pressure, being chased from behind and brought down back at the 10-yard line. Out on the field, he will be standing about... Oh, four yards deep in his own end zone. Gonigal, the uh, deep snapper. Nice snap, about chest high. The kick is a low spiral that is going to be taken back at the uh, 45. Now to the 50, back to the 43 into AM territory. And that's the kick return game for both teams. First down and 10. TCU has the ball at the Aggie 44 yard line. Move the tight end off the line of scrimmage. Now put him in motion. Now he goes set to the left side. That's Blackwell. They had a split in over on that direction. Here's Motkins with a delay out of the backfield and loses one man and then can't get away from a second, third, and fourth. You know, it looked to me like the Aggie defense almost thought on the last drive it was going to be easy, and they kind of let up a little bit. They played much more intense that on that play. Now a flag will fly. They say A&M is off sides, and here is an interception by Larry Horton on a deflection. Kevin Smith... Deflected the ball. Horton intercepts it. But they say that I'm almost sure that they're saying that the Aggies were offside. Boy, it sure looked like he got back before the ball yeah, was snapped. I agree, but, and I'm uh, not, uh, yeah, let's don't do that. <laughs> well, you know, it, <laughs> I had a thought here. It took him a long time to make his mind. It was, was a watching, late flag. The, watching the official here on the near side, and after a couple of beats, he decides, yep, they were offsides. Well, I'm watching it on the replay now, and uh, can't tell. Yeah, he got so, the wrong angle there. Didn't have the right angle, so we'll assume that the official was in better position than we were, and uh, it was a good call. So there's a five-yard uh, mark off then against the Aggies. Rub out the interception by Horton, which would have been his second, and bring him back to the line of scrimmage, second down and four. Right at the 38-yard line. Watkins gets the handoff from Vogler. He will be wrapped up after a one-yard gain over the right side. That's the, back to the short side of the formation. They go back to that eye formation. Vogler pitch it to Motkins. They're going right. He's looking for the corner. Will he get it? He does, and he's got more at the 30, at the 35, 25, down to the 21-yard line. And they'll hand it off to the first man through, and that will be, I believe that was Cedric. Yeah, Cedric Jackson. Second down and 10. 
Getting close to the one minute mark here in the first quarter. Single setback slot right. Vogler screen back to the right side. Motkins breaks one tackle. He's across the 20. He goes to about the 17. He brought it down. More like seven will be needed. Ash right. Ags with about eight up on the line of scrimmage. They're going to toss this one toward the end zone, and uh, everybody watches it go incomplete. I think he's in a man-to-man -man coverage with a free safety deep, that being Larry Horton, and they had good pressure on Vogler. He threw this ball before he wanted to, and it goes incomplete. It will force a field goal of about uh, 34 yards yeah, they'll spot it by at the, uh, TCU. At the 24-yard line, an effort of 34, angle back to the left. Wilkinson, who has a long field goal this season of uh, 45, puts that one through the uprights. And TCU will scratch for the second time this afternoon, earlier on a touchdown here on a field goal of 34 yards by Jeff Wilkinson, which is his 11th field goal on 17 attempts this season. And the score now is A&M 14 and TCU 10. You're listening to Texas Aggie football. All right, we're ready for uh, TCU to kick the ball off with 25 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's a 14-10 Aggie lead. Here is Simmons, a yard deep, drops it again. Looking for the football, picked it up outside the goal line. He's back to the 10, the 15. He's going to be run out of bounds on the far side of the field at the 20. Simmons and uh, Bucky at the line of scrimmage with an eye formation and a slot right. Tight end is on the left, the short side of the formation. They'll run the option. Coming back to the right, pitch it to Darren at the 20. Looking for the corner, has the 25, has the 26-yard line. Second down and four. They need their 30. Ashmark now moves to the right side. They have a little wing out there on the left. They'll throw the ball right over the middle, and it goes incomplete. They were trying to hit where. Third down and about four. Bucky takes the snap, rolls to his left. He's under pressure. Now he's coming back to the right. Needs a block gain at the 25, fighting for the 30, ready to go out of bounds. He's under one second. This will be the last play of the first quarter. Had to stop it. Uh, well, the ball is snapped. Now the ball went out of bounds. Here's a handoff to uh, the Bull, and he has 10 yards. He's out at the 40-yard line. A little shy of the 40. It'll be a second down and about a half yard when we go to the first play of the second quarter. Larry Brown made that last stop for TCU. So that's the end of the first quarter, and it's 14 to 10. The Aggies over the Horn Frogs. You're listening to Texas Aggie Football. With an eye of formation, uh, Bucky with the football. Now we'll run the option. He elects to keep the ball. He has 5, 10, he has 15. He's down to the 40. He's caught from behind at the TCU 36-yard line. Wesley is the tackle here on the left side. He has replaced Rockhold and we've got McCall on the right side. Check guards in a moment. Mike Arthur is the center at an I formation on the first down and 10 at the 36. Bucky starts the option again. Pitch it to Darren. He's got a hole down the sideline at the 20. He dives through a couple of tacklers at the 20 and goes forward to the 17-yard line. Nice run there by Darren. A great pitch again by Bucky Richardson. Ashmark to the right side, first down and 10, straight ahead. They give to Lewis. He is inside the 15. He is down close to the 10 at the 11-yard line. Isn't That's it? more what we're used to seeing is that when Darren runs in the middle of the line, it looks like he stopped, and then you come away, he's got seven yards. They're moving the football now, controlling they, the line of scrimmage. They give it to Wilson. He's down to the five, down to about the three-yard line. Wilson straight ahead. Here's first down and goal at the three. They go back to the I formation. Greg Sharp is out there. Now they put Sharp in motion from the right side back to the left. They're going to pitch it and come to the left. Darren cutting it inside. He's going to get a touchdown. He does. From three yards out, Darren Lewis will score. That will be number 41 in his career. That's number 15 for the season. This the bread and butter A&M offensive running play. Just the toss to Darren Lewis with a lead block from Robert Wilson. Nice little stutter step about the two-yard line, avoiding a, a would-be TCU tackler. tackler. And uh, Darren Lewis gets it into the end zone, making it A&M 20, TCU 10 with the point to come. And uh, Payne to hold. The uh, kick is up, and that one's on the board. That'll make it 21 to 10. The Aggies extend the lead back to uh, up to 11 points in this situation. 13.07 to go here in the second quarter. And uh, again, 21 to 10 is our score. Good to have you along this afternoon. This is Aggie football.
as the whistle. They're ready to go. And he approaches the ball. It is in under in. It's coming back here to the left side. It'll be uh, right at the nine yard line on the return. That's Hickman, I believe. He's coming back. It's Morey back to the 20. Up the sideline. He's going to be bumped out at about the 30 yard line. He go They've got three wide outs to the open side of the field. They're going to give it to Motkins. There's a flag down. And he crosses the 35 yard line and falls forward about the 37. You say holding? That's my best guess. Uh, they had a death grip on John Miller, and I think he took, they took him down right. As he was in the backfield with Motkins, and they tackled him, and I think that's what it'll be is a holding against TCU. Ag first down and uh, 15 back at the 25-yard line, and again a delay to Motkins out of the backfield. He can't get away from Quentin Coriette. Coriette wraps him up at the 29-yard line. Here's a second down and uh, 15. Vogler looking to his right, throws incomplete. Here's the third down play. Trips to the left side, two wide outs on the right, no setback. Here's Vogler rolling right, throws the football at the 35. That's going to be way short of a first down. And to uh, punt the ball away for the Frogs will be uh, Kevin Kordsman. Little pressure, kicks this one straight up in the air. Fair catch has been called for by Garrett, and he makes a clean catch there at the 39-yard line. And the Aggies will have the ball first down and 10 at their own 39. Here's a first down and 10 from their own 39. Richardson hands off to Lewis across the 40 to the 41. Got two yards there. From an eye formation, Wilson's the fullback and Lewis is the tailback. Tie it in here on the near side is Ransom. They had Garrett. Now here's an end around. Oh, they've just faked the ball and Darren's being chased big time and it's going to throw the ball away. Running all the way across the field, but uh, TCU looked like they'd seen it before. Three wideouts on the left side, roll to that direction, and the ball's going to be caught by Oliver inside the 50 and across the 45, now to the 44. Boy, Gary is just catching on. As we count them, that's number nine. Bucky is three out of five throwing the ball from the TCU 43. Option, pitch it to Darren, coming around the left side at the 40, 35, 30, hit and driven out of bounds at the 25, 24 yard line. <laughs> We've got trips, including Darren Lewis, in a slot to the open side of the formation to the right. Single setback. The single setback gets the handoff. That's the bull. Robert goes to about the 22 there and picks up three. It will be second down and seven. You know, so it's been a funny season. Here's second down. And uh, Richardson had the ball and is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Ash to the left side. Simmons is in, and uh, Darren is out on this play. Bucky is changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Goes to the pocket, has some pressure from behind, may run the football, he does. No, he's going to throw the ball as he hits the line of scrimmage. I mean, and it's complete down at the six, and that will go to the tight end. I believe that's Dennis Ransom. Ransom on a reception from Bucky Richardson at the six. So that uh, power formation, two tight ends where, actually three, Sharps in the backfield and goes in motion to the right side. They're going to pitch it to Lewis, going to the right, looking for a hole. He has the five. His helmet comes off as he goes to the two-yard line. With a wing right. That's Sharp, goes in motion to the open side of the formation. Hand it off to Lewis, tries the uh, right, gets down to about the one. Again, that same formation, an eye with two tight ends, and Sharp once more will go in motion. To the left side, option back to the right, Bucky's gonna try to, well, he pitches the ball, it's on the turf, and it's being fought for, and it finally is knocked out of bounds, last touched by the Aggies. It was knocked out of bounds at the one, pitched it, it went on the turf. Darren and one of the defensive backs fought for the ball and it was pushed out of bounds at the one. Right after a long consultation here on the sideline, fourth down and goal from the two. Bucky with a long count, takes the ball, he's going to fake the option and keep it over the left side for a touchdown. He faked it into the middle to Robert and he went untouched into the end zone from the two and for Bucky, his sixth touchdown of the season. This is exactly the way the option is supposed to work. There's only one man outside uh, defending against the uh, A&M option, that being Jason Cobble, the right linebacker, and Bucky and Darren Lewis are out there. Cobble elected to take the pitch away. Bucky goes in untouched for, from the one yard line on a fourth and one, A&M touchdown. Here's Lane's point after, and uh, that one is up and through. And now we look at a 28 to 10 lead, the Aggies. Well, it's gone 7 0, 14 0, 14 to 7, 14 to 10, 21 to 10, and now 28 to 10 on that uh, last uh, drive and the touchdown run by Bucky, which is his uh, sixth again of the season. Right now, let's have a uh, special message from Texas A&M University. 11 plays, 62 yards. How much is it? 
Yes. All right, here's the kickoff by Venatulius, and he drives this one into the end zone. They're going to down it there. Well, it'll be Hickman will take the ball about two yards deep in the end zone. So the Ags will... Uh, there's a flag down now at the 20. We have some pushing and shoving again. Well, on the kickoff, uh, one of the TCU Horn Frogs uh, tried to get after number 20, Keith Francis, who's on the 12th man kickoff team. He uh, showed it great maturity. He put his hands up in the air, says, you can hit me all you want, but you're going to get the flag I'm not, and that's exactly what happened. So they just had another touchdown. There was movement before the snap. I don't know if the other flag goes down as they hand off to Motkins. He's across the 10 to about the 12-yard line, and I believe the Ags are going to be guilty of uh, being offsides again. Well, they'll get five of that 10-yard penalty back. Uh, that was a post-possession foul on the kickoff, so that made it first and 20. Uh, this one on offsides against A&M will move it up to the 15-yard line. It'll be first and 15 for TCU. Is Vogler. First down and 15 from the 15. They'll hand it off to Dickens. He hits the 15, and I mean, he is knocked down big time by Mark Wheeler. No running backs on a second down and 15. Nobody behind Vogler. He's in the pocket. He's looking left. He throws the ball. He is caught at the 22. That's a gain of about seven. Again, uh, they go with wideouts, two wideouts on both sides of the ball. And now a, I believe they're going to call timeout. TCU. TCU had a lot of indecision, and Vogler was trying to change the play, and I think one of the receivers says, I can't hear you. Here's the third down play. No setbacks. Vogler from the pocket, throws over the middle, caught, and then drops. Has the Southwest Conference record for most receptions by a tight end in one season. Here's the kick. And from the 35, we've got a flag back down on the uh, on the punt. From the 35, Garrett returning it across the 40 to the 42-yard line. This an effort by and the Aggies to block the, the kicker. kicker. Well, we, I, is it going to be roughing or are they going to call running into it? Running into the kicker. Running into the kicker, not roughing the kicker. So it'll be fourth down and uh, about two, two and a half. Effort, here's the punt. This is going to be a little bit short and is going to hit and take an Aggie bounce. It hit at the 50 and bounced back to the TCU 45. Here's first down and 10 from the uh, Frog 45. From an eye formation on the slot to the left, the open side of the formation. They'll pitch it to Darren. Nice hole. Now it closes, but he gets five. He's knocked out of bounds. Minster uh, Wesley has replaced uh, Jason Rockhold at the left tackle position. Here's a, a straight drop back by Bucky from the pocket, throwing the ball, and it's caught. That's going to be Gary Oliver inside the 15 at the 13 out of bounds. Back at the line of scrimmage, first down and 10 from the TCU 13. They're trying to get more points here before halftime. We've got five minutes, a little less than that to go. The handoff will go to... Check it here. Is that, that's Darren. Darren uh, gets about two yards down to the 11-yard line. From an eye, long count Richardson. They start the option. He'll keep the ball down to the five, fighting for the four. He has it. The ball is free for a moment on the uh, carpet. And the Aggies have recovered at about the three-yard line. Deck from an eye. Bucky will keep. He is awfully close. And they give him a touchdown. He pushed and got it across, just barely across the goal line. Touchdown, Bucky Richardson. That's his second of the day. That's his seventh of the season. And right now we look at a 34 to 10 lead over the Horn Frogs. And now Lane Talbot with the uh, point after. And uh, it will be Brian Payne to hold. The deep snapper is Brad McGonigal. Spotted down, the kick is up, and the uh, kick is on the board. Now we've got 3.56 left here in the first half. And it's been all Aggies after the early scare there of 14-7 uh, to 7 and 14-10. to 10. Now suddenly it's 35-10. to 10. And yet another touchdown. So Darren now with uh, a, a couple of touchdowns today and Bucky with two touchdowns today. Darren has 15 for the season, 41 for his career. And rushing the football, Darren 16 carries 75 yards. Get a score on that. They're going to have to hold the ball on the tee this time. Terry Venatulius at the 30. About ready to approach the ball. He does. Puts his foot into it. Nice kick. That's going to sail right to the goal line. 
And here's Morey on the return from the 5 to the 10, the 15, the 20. Flag is down. He gets away from a nice pile up there, trying to get away at the 25. He does, goes out to the 27-yard line. But is in at the nose tackle position, and Mark Wheeler is back in in a defensive end position for the Aggies. They're going to pitch it to Motkins coming right at the 10, steps out of bounds at the 13. Line of scrimmage was the 12 after the penalty. Uh, we've got three Aggie uh, running backs, including quarterback Bucky Richardson, who are better than their next three in rushing the football. That shows, of course, they have that aerial game. Here's uh, Vogler from the pocket. Uh, will hit his receiver out across the 25-yard uh, line at the 28. First down and 10, they take the play out to the 29-yard uh, line. From an eye again. Split in on the left. Motkins gets the handoff. He's right up the middle. Picks up about five yards there. Gets it out to the 34-yard line. Anthony Williams in as uh, one of the inside backers. There's movement. I don't know if uh, yeah, they jumped off sides again, did the Ags, and they hand off and go left on the TCU running back after a yard pickup and an offside against AM's defense. Both second down on about a yard. Move the ball out to the TCU 38. They need their 39 for a first down. Vogner with a long count. Handoff goes to Dickens. He's caught in the backfield and brought down at the 36. They'll lose about three on that play. Gary Vincent at a cornerback off to the right side on this third down play. The pitch is going to Motkins, coming around the corner. Can he get to the first down marker? And he no. will not. He's out of bounds at the 37-yard line. The penalty, uh, what, Dave? I was looking down. And well, unsportsmanlike he... conduct, and I'm trying to see a replay. I'm not sure exactly what happened. It was over on the TCU bench, and uh, I can't tell what happened. Other than uh, that gave the Horn Frogs a first down inside the Aggie 50-yard line. R.C. was trying to get an explanation, but none has been offered by the two officials who have come to the near sideline here. But a 15-yard penalty moves the ball down to the Aggie 47 after they had apparently stopped. Uh, here's a, a ball almost intercepted by Lance Tackleman. And now a second down in that same 10. It apparently stopped them. And a fourth down coming up, but an unsportsmanlike call against the Aggies gave them new life. There's Motkins again on the delay out of the backfield. Gets it to the 45, picks up two on a second down and 10. It'll be third down and eight when they come back to the line of scrimmage. There's a third down. Vogler, pressure, gets away from one man. Now let's fly, and the ball is incomplete at the 45-yard line. Today, he was there, but uh, did make the tackle. But good job by Kerry Vincent. Here is the uh, kick, and it's going to hit at the five. It's going to take a TCU bounce. Now it's kicked at the five, and it's going to roll down to the two-yard line. It'll be out to the seven-yard lines where it was touched originally. That ball hit at the five, and rather than going into the end zone, it went high in the air and then took a kick back upfield that gave TCU time to come down and uh, kill the ball. The first man to get there kicked the ball at about the seven-and-a-half-yard line. So the Aggies have it now first down and ten. Time remaining 57 seconds. Well, we saw a heck of a ball game last night, seeing that 57 seconds on the scoreboard between Athens and Crosby here in an 8 o'clock game. It all started with 58 seconds left in the ball game. We're almost to halftime here from an eye, deep in their own end of the field. Ball will go to Darren. He's out to the 10. He's trying to push to the 14, and he'll make it there. Out to the Clock continues to roll. They come to the line of scrimmage on a second down and about four. We'll snap the ball right about 25 seconds to go until the half. Long count by Bucky. From the eye, give it to Darren again. Spins away from one man, can't get away from a second. He'll go to the 16-yard line. That may be it. Let's see if they elect to. I don't think they're going to run another play. They elect to let the clock run out with seven seconds, six seconds. I believe that's going to be all. Offense is starting off the field. It's halftime, and the Aggies lead at 35 to 10 over TCU. Dave Elmendorf will be back with our first half recap. This is the Texas Aggie Network.
there's the kickoff. <laughs> and taking the kick will be Morey for TCU. Took it at the three. Momentum carried him out of bounds at the four. He stepped right on the sideline at the four-yard line. Here is first down and ten. First play of the second half. Modkins will get the handoff, caught at the two, dropped right there. A loss of about oh, two and a half on the play. And check the defensive starters here for the second half. Here is a fake in the end zone. And now Vogler throwing the football. It is caught then dropped at about the 12-yard line. Flag down on the uh, turf. And they say it's against the Aggies. Offsides against A&M on that last play. So they'll get second down over. Move it up five, and it will bring up a second down and about eight. Well, second down and 13. I, I, and they'll mark off five, and it was second down and 12. It's second down and seven now. Move the ball out to the TCU seven-yard line. Matt Vogler, their quarterback. Drop back. Hit as he throws the football. Oh. Caught on the interception by Frazier and then dropped. Separated shoulder. The left-handed quarterback. A right-handed quarterback, and uh, he throws here and delivers out to the 16, but hit that left shoulder on that last one. I, I thought it was his throwing arm that went out. And that ball is caught out at the 16-yard line for a TCU first down. First and 10, 16. Vogler goes under and now stands up behind his quarterback, Breedlove, and moves the setback to a wing right. Vogler under pressure again, throwing the ball. It's caught out at the 27-yard line across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. 5-10 uh, to 10 is our score. The Aggies with the lead. First down and 10 for the Frogs. Vogler looking back to his left. Let's fly, and it will be knocked away. Oh, it's a great day for football. Here's second down and that same 10. Frogs operate from their own 33. Ags cheats some folks up on the line of scrimmage. Vogner running the option back to the left side. Motkins under some uh, pressure. Now he's in trouble. He's going to be caught for a yard loss at the 32. Here is a uh, third down play and 11. Vogner again maybe changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Moves the setback as a wing right. Vogner again with pressure. Throws the football. It is intended for McPherson. It's over his head. Then a slight deflection, and it goes incomplete. The punt. Pressure from the outside. Not a good kick. It's going to hit near midfield and will be taken on a fair catch at the Aggie 46 by Shane Garrett. It's first down and 10. Aggies with the ball. First time in the second half at their own 46. Favors the hash to the right side. We've got a slot in that direction. Bucky with a long count. Gives it off to Robert. Robert gets about uh, two. Split in left. Garrett's in a slot on the right side and a split in that direction as well. That's Gary Oliver who's having a great day. Here's Bucky with play action. Sets up in the pocket. He's going to let fly. Does over the middle. Skips that one into the turf at the 35-yard line. Incomplete intended for Oliver. 77 uh, rushing, 103 passing. Third down and nine from the eye. Play action again. Bucky lofting one here to the right side. And he just threw it too much ahead of the freshman Tony Harris. Rare plays in the last three ball games for the Aggies to see Sean Wilson drop back and punt. So fourth down and nine will bring that about. The drive will stall out after a, only a, a yard here on this possession. Picked up one yard on a carry by Robert Wilson on the first play. And then two passes incomplete. They're coming. And Sean got the kick away, and it's high, and it will be a little short. It's going to take a uh, Aggie bounce, and it rolls at the 26. Now at the 27, they'll kill it. And just as we suggested, uh, we have a safety at quarterback for TCU, Darren Schultz. Schultz has checked in. He'll hand off to Motkins, coming back to the right side. Flags will uh, fly, and five-yard penalty on that last play against the Frogs. First down and 15, move them back inside the 25 to the... 23-yard line. Schultz on the option, going left, cuts it upfield at the 35-30, hit at the sideline and run out at about the 40-yard uh, line. So second down and three at their own 35. Hash left, single setback. They'll hand off to Motkins. He's coming to the right side. Aggies are trying to string it out, and they do, and they force him into the sideline here at the 33, and they'll lose two. Well, Darren Schultz is running at quarterback for TCU. First time he's been there all year. Here's a third down and five. He turns around and moves Dickens, who has replaced Motkins at that running back, moves him to a, a flare to a wing left. He's going to have to roll to his left under some pressure, throwing the football, and he overthrows everybody down the field at about the 40. Of course, that's the second quarterback they've, uh, yeah. they've lost this season. So, And here is the uh, punt and a uh, catch at the 38, a return by Shane Garrett across the 50. I thought for a moment he'd called a fair catch. Possession starting in TCU territory at the 47 from an eye and a wing right. 
Richardson with a long count, still counting. Yeah, there's the snap. Handed off to Robert. He's over the right side, breaks some tackles, and uh, gets about eight, nine yards. Goes to the, about the oh, 39 and a half yard line. Second down and about two. Lucky again with a long count. Mike Arthur out over the ball, the Aggie center. And off will go to Darren. He starts right, left. Now he's got 10, about 11 yards here. They have a unbalanced line to the uh, to the right here this time. And the handoff will go to Darren. Breaks a tackle in the backfield at the 30 and then is pushed out at about the 26. Well, with an unbalanced line to the right side. Here's the second down play from the 26 hash left. Here's Bucky trying to run the option. Dropped it, picked it back up, hit at the 25 and goes to the 24. That was a perfect bounce. He dropped it, it came right back to him like a yo-yo. Here's the third down play at the TCU 24. Bucky on the roll to the right. Looked like he uh, wants to throw, and he will. Offs it downfield into the end zone. Caught touchdown, and that is Cornelius Patterson. 24-yard touchdown pass, Richardson to CP. And for Cornelius, that is his first touchdown of the season. More benefits from the new option passing game that uh, Bob Toledo has given to Bucky Richardson. This is a short roll. Bucky outside the containment. Cornelius Patterson running a, a crossing pattern that ended him up in the back right end zone. Bucky with a perfect strike to him, a 24-yard touchdown. They've hit 41 with a touchdown, and here is the point after. Payne setting it down on the turf, and the kick is up, and uh, this one's good. That makes it 42 to 10. The Aggies up over TCU. 8.54 to go in the third. You're listening to Texas Aggie football. right at the goal line on a return. This is Morey back to the 15, trying to get the corner at the 20. He does, skips free at the 25, the 30, and a flag goes down. That was a clip against TCU. They move the ball back to the 15 after the return out to the 30. But they have it first down and 10 at their own 15. And again, Schultz has replaced Vogler, who had his shoulder wrapped, and he left the ball game. Here's Schultz play action, rolling back to the left. He's going to keep and run at the 20, run it for the sideline. Got a first down, nice bit of running there. And uh, this is a whole new different, a uh, whole new offense for, for TCU with two tight ends and two wide receivers and Schultz running the football. Schultz has yet to throw the ball, but he wants two here. And he's under some pressure. He skips away from a man standing at the 20, throws the ball over the head of the intended receiver, just through his hands as he leaps in the air as Blackwell. And it, yeah, he's here on the near side, number 56. Lance Tackleman's the nose guard. Here's Dickens on a pitch from Schultz at the 30, the 32-yard line. Maybe the 33 did not get out of bounds. Ball Clock will continue 15. to roll on a second and 10. That'll bring up a third down, and they'll need in the neighborhood Jack of seven. Here's a third down. Fans encouraging the defense. Schultz fakes to the left, rolls to the right, looking downfield, wants to throw. He is caught. The ball's on the turf. It rolls out of bounds at the 33-yard line, which is the line of scrimmage. And Garrett standing at the Aggie 35. Kortzman, the TCU punter, is standing at his 20. Coming into the ball game today, he had uh, kicked the ball 56 times for a 33.7 average. The Aggies, uh, Sean Wilson, a season average of 43.2 on 38 kicks. He's kicked twice today for a 35-yard average. Here's Kortzman. Oh, this is a nice little spiral. And it will be Garrett at the 27. Swarmed under. Now he gets away at the 40. He's going to be caught from behind at the 45. That's one of the seniors back out to operate the offensive unit from the 46. And he'll hand off to Darren Lewis over the right side at the 50. And he gets about nine to the 45. He got nine yards. Here's the snap. Hand off to Wilson. He is swarmed under, and he's trying to make it to the sideline, and he's bumped out. That'll be about a yard loss on the second down and uh, about one and a half. It'll be second down, two and a half. Third down, two, hash right, high formation, long count by Lance. Still counting. New center in the ball game will uh, be Troy Whitmore. Ball is snapped. Is that, well, is that a pass? It was a pass over to Oliver over on the right side from Pavlis. Wesley is one tackle, McCall's the other. Alex and uh, 
Pappas are the guards, and Whitmore is out over the ball. Here's play action. Rolling back to the left side. Lance throwing, and he has hit uh, his tied in. That'll be where he fumbled the ball, but they have ruled him down at the 26-yard line. That is enough by two yards for another Aggie first down. Ware making the reception. That will be his 11th of the season, Derek Ware. One of the things that Lance does so well, he runs the play action pass extremely well. This, a fake to the fullback going to his right, a roll back to his left, hitting a wide open Derek Ware for a 12-yard gain. Lance has him right back to the line. The ball and the tank are behind him. Steps back into the pocket, throws to the right side. Garrett, reception, seven-yard line to the six. Penalty marker down. I mean, they may get some of the frogs here for Tawny. At the uh, six-yard line, a flag went down after uh, Shane had made the reception. For Garrett, that's his first reception of the day. And for the season, that will give Shane uh, 23. And this ball, a bullet from Lance Pavlis. Personal that, foul uh, will go against uh, TCU. A bullet from Lance that hit uh, Shane Garrett right between the numbers. And he got hammered uh, right at the six-yard line. And, of course, oh, uh, personal the personal foul, foul against TCU. Wasn't taunting at all after he's down. One of the frog defenders came in and speared him so right that, in the back of the helmet. There's no call for that, uh, particularly in a game that's out of control like this one. A lot of frustration down there, it looks like. Aggies driving for points. They have it first down and goal at the three. Ball favors the hash mark to the right side. Wing to the left is Sharp. Three tight ends in the ball game, and Sharp went in motion, and the Ags moved Wesley. So did Dexter Wesley go in motion, I'm afraid. <laughs> It'll cost us five. 42 to 10, five and a half minutes to go in the third. Hand off to uh, Darren, steps left, steps right. He's across the five. He's down to the two yard line. And again, the wing is short. And he's not going, uh, no, he doesn't go. He goes in motion. Had a signal from Pavlis. Pitch it to Lewis, right side, into the end zone, touchdown. Oh, he had great blocking out in front of him. Uh, he will have uh, Whitmore over there. Pavlis was in that direction. And also the tight end short, leading the blocking for Darren Lewis. And that will give him uh, his third touchdown of the day, 16 for the season and 42 for his career. Darren Lewis. And now Lane Talbot will try to put the 49th bo point on the board. It's 48-10 right now at 440 to go here in the third. Brad McGonigal is the deep snapper. Brian uh, Payne will uh, hold, and the extra point is up, and it's on the board by Lane Talbot. Lane, by the way, for the season, came into this ball game tonight, 39 this afternoon, 39 of 40 in the extra point department. So he puts another one up there, and that makes it 49 to 10, 440 to go in the third. We'll be back in a minute. This is the Texas Aggie Network. The 1990 Donald Pizza. Holiday Inn, Lady Aggie Basketball Classic. Yeah. Tullius has just kicked off, and it'll be taken back at the 1 by Morey. Back to the 15, half the 25, the 30. He breaks free, and he's out to the 38-yard line. All right, they move the ball out to the 37-yard line on the kickoff return. That was a nice one by uh, Morey. He's had some good ones today. Maybe some pretty good credentials. They will uh, hand the ball off on the uh, first play here on a first down and 10. Single setback again is Motkins. They'll hand it off to Motkins. Coming right. Caught. He's brought down back at the 40-yard line. And Reed Love out over the ball. The center for the Frogs. Schultz playing his first game at quarterback. And they come on the blitz, and they'll dump it off to McPherson. At the 50-yard line, he has what apparently is a first down, but there is a flag down in the offensive backfield, and that would your first thought there is that's going to be holding against the Frogs. No, I think this was going to be against oh, A&M, and it may be roughing the passer there. That's the call. So a uh, call against the, uh, the Aggies there. Perfect call for the 
That's right. For the Horned Frogs, they uh, called the screen pass when the Aggies had an all-out blitz on. They completed the screen for a nice game, which was enough for the first down. Tack on another 15 for rushing, roughing the passer, and now TCU has the ball at the Aggie 35-yard line, first and 10. That's the uh, third. They get two first downs on that. That gives them 13 now for the uh, for the ball game. TCU and the ball has moved down to the 35. Motkins gets the handoff. He hits the 35, maybe the 34. Got a yard. Coriette and Thomas on that tackle. Call it second down and nine. And they go with a single setback. A slot on the right. And timeout will be called by TCU. Have motion from Michael Jackson as he goes set in a slot to the left side now. They'll run the option. Schultz runs as he turns to his right, right into one of the defensive uh, members. I don't know who that was. Maybe Dave picked it up. And then he cuts it upfield and gets about, oh, five yards to the 30. Third down and five from the 30. And here's the handoff. It goes to Cedric Jackson, and he gets the yard to the 29. The uh, little gurney out there, they're going to apparently have to bring Anthony off on that uh, gurney. It's the little uh, unit that has the wheels. He is up now, and they're in a sitting position. Can you tell, uh, Dave, what they're looking at out there? No, I, I couldn't tell. Uh, they've been looking at him a long time, and they finally have him up and are getting ready to roll him off of the field. But uh, with so many people crowding around, Anthony, I can't tell what the problem is. Texas Baylor score in the third quarter. It's 10 to 10. We've got a tie right now. All right, here's a fourth down play to try to set up a screen over here on the right side. He goes incomplete. All right, Lance Pavlis again to operate the offensive units with Carter and with Simmons behind him, and they'll hand it off to Randy. Spins away and gets a yard uh, just outside the 30-yard uh, line. Where he, uh, pretty good portion of the field now covered by the uh, shade here of the press box and the stands on the west side at Kyle Field. We're still bathed in sun on the east side and the stands there. Lance with trouble trying to pick up the ball. Here is a pass that's partially deflected as he throws, trying to hit uh, Randy Simmons out of the backfield over the middle, and it went incomplete. They're back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and about eight. Pavlis from the pocket. Looking to his right. It's caught out at midfield. That will be, I think that may be Crawl. Let's see. It was, it was the Crawl. 50. Shane Crawl making a nice leaping catch there and then going down in TCU territory at the 48-yard line. And for Shane, that's his first reception of the season. And a nice catch. This ball a little bit overthrown, but Shane Crawl going way high to pull down this 21-yard gain. And Darren Lewis is out of the game now, but he is now number five on the all-time one-season Southwest Conference rushing list. He just passed James Gray. First down and 10 in TCU territory. Play action. They fake to the running back Simmons. Now they'll throw to the right side to Carter. He has a first down. He's at the 30. Pulls over a man at the 25. Goes to the 24. Well, they move the chains and the ball's at the 24. A hash mark on the right side. Simmons at tailback. Carter at fullback. They have, uh, that's Cornelius Patterson in the slot on the left side. The handoff goes straight ahead. Simmons gets about two, three or four tough yards there. He'll make it to the 21-yard line. Time is going to run out here in the third quarter. As the scoreboard flashes, Texas Aggies, and time has just run out. Third quarter is over with. Aggies are driving when we go to the final 15 here. They lead 49-10 to 10 over TCU. We'll be back in a minute. This is the Texas Aggie Network. out of the backfield, still on his feet, still fighting, still fighting at the 15-yard line and pushed back a little bit on a second down and seven. Are they going to give him forward uh, progress down to about the 16-yard line? He got Lance dumped that one over the middle to Simmons, and he caught it and was brought down at the 17-yard line. From the pocket, he is looking again over the middle. That one's almost intercepted. He was trying, there's a flag down now. That may be defensive pass interference. They were trying to hit Shane Crawl at the 10. He had two defenders on him. There's two flags down. There's one back at the line of scrimmage on the third down and three. And it'll be defensive pass interference against TCU, a personal foul then against the Aggies. This situation. 
They'll move it down to the eight yard line. And right there's a first down and 10 at the eight. I'm sorry, first down and goal at the eight. Now they'll move it back 15 yards the other way. First and goal from the 23. And it'll be play action. Lance trying to get away from the pressure and can't do it. He's going to be sacked at the 30-yard line. Carter, Carter the fullback. Simmons the uh, tailback. Play action. Roll wide to the left. Throw the ball down the field. Caught by Carter out of the backfield down to the 15-yard line. And there's a flag down back at the 38-yard uh, line. Carter caught the ball just below his knees. And there's going to be a penalty against the Aggies. That'll be a holding on call. On a second and goal from the 30. <laughs> it's going to be a second and goal from the 40. <laughs> second down and goal from the 40. Rolling to the right. Dump it out at the 40-yard line on a pass to Carter out of the backfield. He's down to the 29-yard line. And another flag. 11, and here's a flag down there. That'll lay the hit. Sooner or later, the odds are going to fall in favor of the Aggies. Flags on a play. And the flag's back on the 36-yard line on the other side of the field. Came, it was called from all the way across the field, but a legal receiver downfield for the Aggies. Second and goal from the 45. Whitmore out over the ball. A straight drop from the pocket. Pavlis throwing over the middle. The ball's going to be caught down at the 29-yard line. Caught and down immediately is Cornelius Patterson. Now, why wasn't there a flag? Because he is hit after he's down at the 29. I they think get, the officials uh, are tired. Yards there. I think they're tired of throwing flags. There's third down and goal coming up from the 29. He definitely hit play. late. Anyway, no flag and uh, third down and goal from the 29-yard line. Split backs. Flanker left, split in right. Again from the pocket on a straight drop by Pavlis. He's going to try to run with the ball. He will. He goes to the uh, 25, fumbles the ball, but I believe he's been ruled down at the 25-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and goal from the 25. Spotted down at the 32-yard line. It's a 42-yard effort. Favors the hash mark to the right side. Slide angle back to the left. Yale leaders are down beyond the uh, end zone, behind the goal post. Payne spots it down. That one is up, and it's no good. It's off to the left. It's wide to the left side. Just keep out of uh, Waco. And those two teams, Huntsville and Waco, met earlier this season when Waco High won it. And in the playoffs tonight, here is Schultz handing off out of the backfield on a delay to Motkins from the 25-yard line. He'll burst out to the 30. Second down and five for the Frogs. Motkins again on the handoff. Goes to the 32-yard line. They seem content right now, Dave. To Yes, and here's the third down play. Schultz at quarterback takes the snap, throws it right out over the middle, and it's going to be caught by Shipley, or is that Blackwell? That's it's Blackwell across the 40 to about the 42-yard line. That's his. He sure is. Wearing a, their quarterback, Schultz, is wearing a glove on the left hand. He goes to the pocket, now rolls to his right. May have to run with the ball. He's being chased to the sideline and finally run out of bounds at the 45. That'll be a two-yard gain. As far as the opponent's total offense, here's a second down and eight. Schultz will move Michael Jackson from the right side to the left side. They've got two wideouts in that direction and a tight end. Run the option. He will cross the 45 and hit from behind. And now we just get one of the linemen who puts, who is that over there? That's, here's third down and five at the 48. Schultz again on an end around. Looks like they want to throw a pass here, and they will. They're going to throw it deep, and it will be almost intercepted. Line of scrimmage, the 48. Courtsman, the TCU punters at the 34. Max put 10 people up on the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they're coming. They are not. They'll be outside containment, and the punt is a high one. It's going to go to the far sideline, and that's going to take a roll into the end zone. Yeah, touchback there. That just barely made it in. We've got another flag. Another flag down here at the 20-yard line. And another, another flag, flag on the far sideline. <laughs> Two flags, one where the ball went out of bounds, and one here on the near side at the 20. Here's a dead ball foul. Offsetting uh, dead ball fouls. Then a dead ball. And then a 15-yard penalty. Two dead balls that will offset, and then another dead ball personal foul against TCU. First down and 10 from the 35 after the penalty. Lance again to operate the offense and uh, will hand it off to McAfee. Coming right, he's got five. He has about nine yards. He's all the way out to the 44-yard line. Here is a, a handoff to Carter at fullback. 
Spins across, Spins across the 45 and goes to the 48-yard line, maybe the 47. It's a first down carry a moment ago. It's first down and 10 now at the 47. Play action. Lance rolls to the right, dumps it off out of the backfield. That will be Carter across the uh, 45, down to the 40, out at the 36-yard line in TCU territory. Lance and Bucky have both thrown for over 100 yards today. First down play at the 37. In TCU's into the field, and that handoff goes to McAfee. He goes to the 33, get about four there. So a great crowd here for the uh, final home game of the year. Second down and six. Carter gets a uh, pitch and tries to go left. He's hit behind the line, back outside the 35 at the 36. By split back, straight drop by Lance. Flag goes down, pass it off to Carter. Catches the ball at the 35, goes to the 32, and we'll see the meaning of the flag. Well, that big game over in Waco, Texas has taken the... Next Saturday, the broadcast from Austin begins at 10.20 in the morning. Kick time is just after 11. Here's the third down play. Lance from the pocket. Protection breaking down. Now throws it, and it goes incomplete. He was going downfield and hit in between two receivers. Now here's the fourth down and punt. Standing back at the Aggie 41 is Wilson. Nice kick. It's going to hit and take a bounce at the four and roll into the end zone. They'll bring that out on the uh, to the 20. Now they release him. They can play ball again. So Darren Schultz, who is operating the TCU offense, comes back to the line of scrimmage. Play action. Rolls to his right out of the pocket near the sideline on the far side. Throws the football. It goes incomplete. Off the chest of the intended receiver, Michael Jackson. And now that's going to be a flag, and apparently it's going to be defensive pass interference against the Aggies. First down and 10 then at the 35, and uh, handoff goes to Dickens. He's across the 40, gets about eight. So it'll be the seventh time that holds up that the Aggies have held the opponent to less than 300 total offense. Pitch going back to the right, and a new running back's out there, and he'll pick up a first down. That'll be Corey Ford. Dives across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Of course, TCU to the one turnover. That was the interception return for a touchdown by Larry Horton in the first quarter when a and jumped out 14-0. Another new running back, Garrison, on a first and 10, picks up two to the 47-yard line. Till game time and then throughout the game and at the end of the game. Here is a quarterback draw. Schultz takes a step back and then takes two steps forward. He goes to the 49-yard line, and Eric England wrapped him up there. Some of the uh, folks for the Holiday Bowl are down here on the sideline. That's Benny Vinson and uh, Debbie Lash. Here's Schultz breaking out of the pocket, trying to run for a first down, and he does to the 44-yard line on a third down and six. Four minutes exactly remaining in the ball game. 49 to 10, the Aggies over TCU. Straight drop by Schultz. Caught, gets away. Now he's on the roll, back to his left, running with it at the 40. Ooh, sandwich there, and the ball squirts free, but he's down at the 39-yard line. He picks up five, and have they ruled a fumble recovery for the Aggies? I think that's what they ruled. Well, I thought he was down, but I did apparently too. the officials say no, and it's a fumble and a turnover, second of the ball game. As far as turnovers are concerned against uh, TCU and the Aggies get the fumble recovery. Eric England came up with a loose football at the 37 yard line. The hit and applied. The drive stops. Now the hit applied by Kerry Vincent. Yeah, the ball was free before he yeah, went there. It was. It's a good call. Keep it. Kent Petty. Be the third quarterback used in the ball game today and they'll run the option to the right side and the handoff goes to the halfback on the left side. That's McAfee across the 40. And today, right now, it stands at 49 to 10. Penny out of an eye. Pitch it to McAfee. They're going wide to the left side, looking for a block. Can't get it. Okay, and one, five, two, three, four, five, five TCU defenders all on top of McAfee. Got back to the line of scrimmage and maybe a half yard more in the broadcast booth with us and the coach's shirt. So congratulations to Isaac. Now, here's Petty throwing. The ball is off the back of, may have been off the back of one of the linemen. On a fourth down and punt time. They may try to work that clock down as much as they can. They did down to two seconds on the 25-second clock. It's a nice kick. It'll be taken by Hickman at about the nine. Starts left, coming back right, gets it out to the 19-yard line. Took it at the nine. He was just looking all over the place. And can you believe it, folks? There's another flag. There. Surprise, surprise. Behind the line the 50 yards first down. All right. 15 yards on a fourth down and five. They'll pick the ball up 
and walk it down to the 43 and TCU's end of the field. And Kent Petty just thought he was through. <laughs> There's first down and 10 at the 42. Run from an eye. Carter's the fullback. Play action. Petty's going to throw the football. And he has a man wide open down at the 27. To Petty rolled to and uh, took himself right out of the play. Carter and McAfee. And uh, again, they're going to try to throw the football. And Petty now under a lot of pressure. He's going to be dropped all the way back at the 40. And two flags are down on the field. Clip declined. It will be declined. They'll take the down. And the loss is not quite back to the 40. It's back to, well, now they're right. TCU saying that he was dropped back at the 40-yard line. They're exactly right. But they've spotted it to the 37. Now it's back to the 41-yard line. They finally realized that, indeed, Kent was dropped back at the 41. All right, second down and 25 is the scoreboard. Aggies need all the way down to the 16. Of course, earlier today, we had a third and goal from the 45. Here's the second down play with a split back formation and a slot on the right. And here is a handoff, and that will go to the halfback on the left side. Uh, that's Carter. Here's a third down play. Petty from the pocket. Let's fly over the middle, and that one goes incomplete down at the 10. Nobody close. Incomplete pass. The clock has stopped, so they don't really have to gain anything. I thought about that. 49 seconds. You're right. Petty again from the pocket. Throw it all the way down the field. Felton Ransby caught it for a touchdown. <laughs> And he completed a pass. That was his first completion of the season. And a nice one it was. And the Aggies now lead 55 to 10 with 43 seconds to go in the ball game. Second highest point total of the season. And 524 yards now in total offense. Bain to hold, Talbot with the uh, kick, and it's up, and this one's on the board. That makes it 56 to 10 with 43 seconds remaining in the game. Now, yeah, Kent Petty with an opportunity to play along with some of the other second uh, team folks. Takes advantage of it and strikes for a touchdown. Two times in school history now that they have gone over that mark. Here's a squibber that rolls right through one of the upbacks hands. Now it's fumbled to the 30, finally picked up. That's uh, Cedric Jackson looking for some outside running room. He goes out of bounds and fumbles the ball at the 45-yard line. Schultz at quarterback, operating from his own 47, getting near the end of the ball game. He starts the option, and he's caught behind the line of scrimmage by Marcus Buckley. He'll lose a yard at the 46. Be second down and 11. 23 seconds to go in the ball game. This is the uh, fifth time that the Aggies have broken the 50-point barrier versus TCU. Five times they've gone over 50 against TCU. 46 will be the margin of victory in this string now of 18 in a row coming into the game today. The margin of victory had averaged at 24 in this 17-game winning streak. Time is running down. There's two seconds, a second remaining, and they'll hand off, and the play will finally terminate down at the 40-yard line, a pickup of about 13 yards on the last play of the ballgame. And this one is all over. 